Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to suggest to you that there may be an alternative to playing Requerus to Lamba with, uh, you know, without using the traditional uh, P, A, M, I arpeggio style technique. Instead, you would use the P, M, I, N technique which could work out for you. And this is the purpose of this video. It's not an entertainment video. There will be mistakes. So if you're here to hear something that's going to be played perfect, I suggest you move on to the next video where you can actually find a better played Requerus de Lamba. But if you're sticking around because you want to see how it can be demonstrated using the P M I M technique and stick around and you may be able to learn something also because I also suggest that priming your hand in this way by striking the string with an extreme amount of force almost to the point of breaking your nails or the strings is a good way to prime the muscles and condition them so that they'll be able to respond in a way that they wouldn't if you actually hadn't done that. Alright, so what I mean by that is by just muting the strings and going like this. And that seems to prime the muscles and then the fingers can respond in a way that they couldn't if you actually hadn't done that. Alright, so um <laughs> oh no, okay, so here's the demonstration. I'm only going to do the first part once and the second part once. So it's a shortened version of Requerus de Lamba, but nonetheless, it will demonstrate basically what can be done on it if you do this technique of the P M I M technique instead of the other one. All right, let's go. this video anyway nonetheless because I think it's still of value to you. So even though I didn't finish
finish the song. You may be disappointed that it didn't work it all the way through. Um, it's too bad. Maybe it didn't write something. Maybe it didn't too bad. Okay, take care for now. Please leave a comment. I really appreciate it. I like reading all the negative ones too. They're incredible. So.